We'll guide you through how to fix VC Runtime 140.dll is missing error in Windows. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. This error usually pops up when Windows cannot find the VC Runtime 140.dll. Now to fix that, you can download VC Runtime 140.dll and put it into your System32 folder. So just search VC Runtime 140.dll on Google, and then you want to go to this website here, dllfiles.com, click on it, scroll down, and you can download here. So you want to download the latest version, which is this this one but you want to download the correct one for your pc you can go to the start menu and then type in system information this one open it up and here look for system type here for me is x64 so i have to download the x64 so let's go ahead and do that this is the latest one click download here wait five seconds so you can save it somewhere on your pc by default it's going to go to your downloads folder and it will start downloading after you finish downloading you'll have it in a zip file so you have to extract it first right click on it extract all and then you're going to check this so it opens up and click extract now you'll have the dll file so what you need to do is put this into your system 32 so find that you can go to this pc and then go to your c drive look for windows open it up and here look for system 32 this one open it up and you're going to put it here so what you can do is just drag and drop it here like that and that's done but if you still have problems you'll need to install microsoft visual c plus so you can type in microsoft visual c plus like that and then go to the official microsoft website and here look for the latest supported so it's 2017 to 2026 for me click the link and here you need to download both so let's download x66 first save it somewhere on your pc hit save start downloading and let's do the x64 hit save and that's done now we're going to install it one by one so open up the xc now here check i agree and hit install it will start the installation process just wait a bit after that's done you're gonna hit close don't restart it yet because we haven't installed the x86 version so let's open it up check i agree and hit install and wait for it to finish and after you install both x64 and x86 you can hit restore and restore your pc after your pc restarts you're good to go 